everybody welcome back uh, it is June 29th I am going to put out the, my last three cameras and uh, update my mineral sites it's freaking like 96 degrees she a little warm <laughs> but anyhow um, just want to touch base with everybody summer scouting's coming in you know i'm starting to see a couple of small bucks running around with velvet and stuff like that a couple weeks back started to see them so but now's the time to get all your cameras set and everything and um you know to do all the recon you can do a lot of scouting you know scout 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 hunt scout 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 hunt um if you uh get on it now and get your cameras out and do everything you need to do now and get your stands ready you won't have all that work to do. You won't be leaving scent in the woods when the time comes uh, to get in there, and you can really potentially pattern a good buck for early season before they start changing, you know, their routes and you know, for you to pattern them. But uh, anyhow, uh, just wanted to touch base with everybody, and um, hopefully, I'll uh, get some good footage uh, this summer on everybody on everything. Uh, as far as picking up some good deer, some deer movement, and maybe showing you how I kind of go about doing everything. Um, I already showed you how I set stands in the summer and, and do all that stuff in prior videos and what I do with running trail cameras. You know, I use them for inventory purposes. Um, I don't have any sell cams. I can't afford to get into that market right now. So, you know, I have to put them out in the rain, check them when it rains, and uh, that way I don't leave any scent in. Uh, any of my tight locations that are tight to bedding or you know any kind of tr main travel corridors or paths that they use or trails they use if i'm trying to get between uh you know food and water sources for an ambush point or food and bedding or whatever um but anyways you guys uh hang out stay tuned and uh follow along and uh maybe we'll lead up to some good footage and some stuff going on i'm actually also going to be running for a mobile setup this year a ridge runner and a, and a saddle um, last year i put on the manis from tethered and the um, predator platform a buddy of mine bought it and it's an awesome setup i liked it uh, but another buddy of mine had a ridge runner uh, this year and a trophy line and uh, quickly to run through them both of them are great products the stands the the saddles everything um, to me the trophy line saddles more comfortable but the tethered is more customizable as far as having you know um, a uh, and steel bridge and stuff like that but both do the job well and as far as the platforms go, you can't go wrong with either one of them if you decide to use that as a running gun mobile, you know, option in your tool bucket. Um, I really like the Ridge Runner for the grip and the and how wide the platform is for you know side shots and and stuff. Whenever you want to shoot opposite side of the tree, you can do, accomplish the same thing with a Predator. It's just not as comfortable to me, and the finish isn't as gritty. And if my boots were wet last year when I got on the Predator, I did notice a little bit of squeak because there's not a lot of grit in the platform for grip. But it's still a great platform. It's, it's, the, the upside to it is it's way more packable and easier to carry uh, on your backpack. But when you're talking about three, three and a half pound platforms, I, I just strap it to the outside of the bag. It doesn't even matter how packable it is to me as far as that goes, especially you don't you don't know it's there you really you just don't know it's there so if you were putting it in a pack or you wanted to protect it and keep it in its own little bag maybe molly to the back of a bag or something like that then packability would definitely be an issue with the ridge runner but for me both of them work fine and there's just you can't go wrong with either one um, but i went with the ridge runner just because uh, i like the guys up there i like guys at both companies that out on a limb and tethered um they're nice people and they all talk to you to communicate with you they're not you know uh they got a good customer base and a good following and uh, they treat their customers right so that's why uh, you can go with either one and you can't go wrong but um but anyhow i'm gonna get out and get these last three cameras set now I'll, I'll catch up with you guys later 
And if you got any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. Be sure to smash the subscribe and like button. And you guys take it easy. I'll catch up with you soon.